Welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. Of late, risk appetites bounced back sharply with rallies in the stock markets, sending the US dollar lower and the yen crosses higher. Is the improvement in risk appetites short term, especially with major economic indicators, remaining largely unchanged? Today, we have Mr. Joseph Tan from Philip Futures Forex Desk to share more. Joseph, latest reports showed that Japan's economy shrank at a record pace. Yen rose on increased concern that the global recession will be prolonged. What is your view on the movement of Yen? Personally, I quite agree with the view that the global recession is still not over, although we are seeing a general recovery in the global equity market on a broad base. And with this increased optimism, a recovering market should see dollar-yen trading higher, possibly testing the resistance at 96.70. If this near-term resistance breaks, the next resistance is at 99.80. Having said this, since I personally do not hold a view that the economy is recovering, dollar yen is like, likely to trend down and see a firm support at 93.5. Breaking this, the next support would be at 89.70. How about talk of a revival of carry trade, especially with improved risk appetites? The interest rate differential between different currencies is not significant currently. We expect interest rates to increase over time as market recovers bring even more lucrative returns on swap interests. Carry trades has always been around in the market, especially when traders are looking for swap income alongside with their position in the market. The yen crosses retraced by around 30% on the whole, but which in fact carry trade is not so crowded at this point in time. And for experienced traders, they tend to avoid crowded trades and are seeing value in uh, majors like dollar yen and some crosses like Aussie yen and Kiwi yen. Based on this ide ideology, this may be a good time to review carry trade, of course depending on each individual's risk tolerance as well as an uh, investment objective. Will optimism of an economic recovery turn investors away from the US dollar, which has been traditionally viewed as a safe haven currency? It is evident that we see continued confidence in the dollar by central banks' concerted efforts to stem off unnecessary volatility. This could be seen on dollar yen, which recovered from 87 even to the current 90, 94 even level, even when we see the US economy trying to stabilize. This actually signifies confidence in the US dollar. With this in mind, even with a recovering, recovering economy, I do not think investors will totally move away from the US dollar, although there has been talks of Euro and the Ch Chinese Yuan as alternate reserve currencies. Thank you, Joseph, for your time. That's all for today. Join us next week for more market updates.